Okay, is this thing on? Guys, is it on? Wow, it has been a while since I've done one of these. Hey, welcome back. If you're watching this video, then oh my God, I wonder if this is like your first one and you're like, oh wow, I bet she posts content regularly or if you have been here from day one, or at least day two or four, you all have been like, where have you been? I have taken a bit of a hiatus from YouTube and Instagram. One, because I've been so busy, you know, like life, life just happens. And second of all, I have felt like I haven't really had much to say because I have been in remission for about three years now, which has been amazing, sure, great. What I realized, which is quite a dark uh, secret, I guess, of the IBD community that I definitely didn't realize until I was in it, uh, was that there's definitely, definitely not just like a bit of a vibe for people who like seem well in just not being as uh, considered in the space of the internet. That's probably the best way to put it. But yeah, I felt like I, ne I didn't necessarily um, fit in anymore into my own space of the internet. So that has been a bit of a tough learning curve for me. But do you know what? I had a realization today, I've got a day off. I was like, who says I can't be in remission and still be on this platform? Who says I can't still be here and share my experiences with you? So lucky you, I've decided that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Welcome back to my latest video, which is, have to look at the screen because I can't remember what it's called. Shit people say when you're in remission. Let's do this. All right, number one, I didn't think you could cure Crohn's. Let's just take a little step back. First of all, you can't cure Crohn's as we know. Yeah, I mean, God, who knows what tomorrow holds or next year or the next 10 years, but currently you cannot cure Crohn's disease. So my Crohn's is not cured, I'm afraid to say, for you and for me and this awkward conversation that we're now having. I'm simply in remission. What that means is that my symptoms are not active, you know, they're kind of asleep. I suppose I have sleeping Crohn's, you know, a bit like the game Sleeping Lions, but I have sleeping Crohn's. So whilst I still have Crohn's disease, sure, uh, it's definitely not active and I don't have any major, major symptoms that cause me huge distress or discomfort. Don't get me wrong, they're still there, but we can come back into that. Number two is, it must be so good to just eat whatever you want. Again, I'm afraid that is not true. When I actually first came into remission, I decided to switch up my diet a little bit and have gone, I'm not gonna say full on vegan, that would be a lie. I am majority plant-based. I would say 98% plant-based. You know, shit does have milk powder in it sometimes. Cheese and onion crisps, for example, which I love. So I'm not not gonna eat them because I don't want to destroy the one bit of joy I have left in my life. But for the majority of my diet, uh, I have cut out dairy, I have cut out red meat, all that other stuff. And that has helped me so, so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you how life-changing for my Crohn's, not for everyone's, uh, that has been. It's been a total game changer. What it doesn't mean though, is that I can now just eat whatever on earth I want. And maybe that's partly to do because of the fact I'm not medication, maybe it's partly to do with the fact that I'm in remission. But if I were to have a beef salad with a side of blue cheese, I'm gonna say I'd be in a lot of pain. I'm gonna say I'd be pretty ill. I'd even go as far to say, say I might end up in hospital. Might be a bit dramatic, but weirder things have happened. So yeah, that one also not true. Number three is, I bet you never even think about being sick anymore. I mean, sure. Sure, maybe it's not a all day, every day, front of mind conversation for me anymore because luckily, thank you, I am not thinking about when I'm next running to the toilet. I'm not thinking about if I'm gonna throw up on the tube. There is definitely something to be said for the fact that because you're in remission, you feel like it is a little bit of a ticking time bomb. You feel like you don't ever wanna jinx it. You feel like by even just saying and recording a video saying I'm in remission, that is going to curse my life and my plethora of horrendous symptoms are gonna come back and I will be in a world of pain. Maybe that's just me. But I think for people to assume that, you know, you just don't think about it anymore is actually very, very far from the truth because if anything, the onus is on me. So I now would feel like if I suddenly came out of my remission, there would be some weird false complex that I failed. You know, I couldn't keep my remission up. And that is total BS, by the way. 
that is not true but it plays into your mind i actually think about it all the time i literally think about my Crohn's all the time and being in remission staying in remission not wanting to do anything that might upset the apple cart as people say weird saying but yeah i do think about it a lot number four is i wish i was in remission i get i get it i do get it you know what when i wasn't in remission i wished i was in remission too but i think it's a shit thing to say because i think number one you're putting people in remission up on a pedestal which i don't necessarily think is right and number two it's this never ending kind of hamster wheel of remission not remission remission not remission remission is fantastic but it's not necessarily the end game seeing as there is no cure for Crohn's being in remission is amazing but it's not necessarily a permanent state and I know that when I was really really unwell with my Crohn's constantly wishing that I was in remission was actually quite unhealthy and you know just not very good for you so yeah Maybe that's more of like a sad thing that people say rather than a shit thing. I'm shiny! And number five, which actually is a little bit like number one, but just kind of slightly different, which is the most common one I get all the time from people who do not suffer from IBD, which is, it's so good that you don't have Crohn's anymore. I do. I hate to break it to you, but I do still have Crohn's. I d definitely still have Crohn's and you know, my scans and stuff, they, you know what, they look great. It's not, a, it's not something I ever thought I'd brag about, but my latest colonoscopy, it was pretty fantastic. It looked amazing. It doesn't mean I don't have Crohn's disease anymore. I mean, if I have another colonoscopy and it's gone, I have no active disease, then I guess I could be a medical marvel and I would surely be worthy of a prize at least a million pounds i would say but at the moment that is not true so saying you're so lucky that you don't have crohn's anymore it's just not true it just isn't true so there you go thank you for coming to my ted talk those are five things in case you weren't counting along the way uh that it's just basically shit things that people say to me or to other people i'm sure loads of people have it too when you're in remission. Do I hold myself accountable and say more videos are coming soon? Yes, I am going to, because I think I would be good to do a bit of a life update check-in, just to tell you all about what's been going on with my Crohn's, what's been going on about my life, as if anyone cares. And yeah, maybe we should make this more of like a, more of like a thing? I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, if you wanna see more videos, I'm a sucker for peer pressure, so if you keep telling me, then maybe I'll do it. Anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much.